Hey guys, it's Kurt the Consultant. Today we're going to cover the top 10 questions of the week, which will go over tools like the Maxisys Pro, the Elite, and the Nano 6 BT. And this will add value to anybody who's looking to purchase the tool that can't get, you know, really, really nitty gritty details. And the clients we already have who probably didn't know that the features were there. So with that, let's jump straight into it. Okay, question number one. The client would like to know if the Maxisys Elite can do an oil reset calibration for the newer Volvos? It's a very good question. The answer is yes. Typically, you don't need to go to that extent to do calibrations. You can simply find the oil reset icon and follow the instructions on how to reset that light. Um, on the occasions where calibration is needed, the tablet will show you step by step on how to execute that calibration. So to answer your question, yes, the Altel Maxis Elite can facilitate that issue on Volvos. Okay, question number two. The client has a Nissan Maxima 2017 and would like to know if the MS906TS can force write a VIN number to a used ECU module. He also said that he works on a lot of Nissans and Infinities and he needs the ability to write VIN numbers. Can the 906 do this? TS, the 906TS. Um, the answer is yes, VIN writing is supported by our tool on the 906TS as long as the car will accept that VIN writing procedure. I think if you go to control unit and then the engine control module, you should find that option there. So to answer your question, yes, the 906 CS can facilitate forced VIN writing procedures. Okay, question number three. My truck is a 2006 Dodge Durango 5.7 Hemi and I would like to know if the Maxxis Elite can force write a VIN number on a used PCM module and BCM module. Uh, please let me know as this is my personal vehicle. Okay, as I said before, the Maxxis Elite does have a lot of VIN writing capabilities. Um, I know a lot of you guys buy and sell cars and you know going to the junkyard to get a used module is a lot cheaper. So this is the way I approach that. First, I'll get the tablet, I'll scan the vehicle, to get the original VIN number. Then the tablet's going to prompt you when to put on the used PCM module or BCM module on the tablet and that's when it will give you the opportunity to force write the VIN number on there. So to answer your question, yes the Maxxis Elite can do a force VIN writing procedure on used PCM modules and BCM modules for your Dodge Durango. Question number four. I'm working on a BMW and I would like to know if the Maxxis Elite can program a footwell module. Um, yes, this is supported and I can even tell you the special function path on how to get there. So enter the vehicle's information, then you're going to see an icon that says programming, then click another icon that says programming and coding, then selective programming and this is where it's going to give you a list of all the control units that are available on uh, that particular vehicle. And then look for the football module uh, option, hit the checkbox, and then you can do the programming procedure. And for those of you who work on BMWs, this is really phenomenal. Um, usually when you do programming, let's say with the BMW OEM interface, their diagnostic tool, when you want to program one module, it kind of forces you to program all the modules, and that takes a lot of time. So with the Altel, you can just select the module you want to program and it will program just that one. So that saves you an abundant amount of time. So yeah, just something that you know you guys probably didn't know, but yeah, you can program a footwell control module with the Maxisys Elite. Okay, question number five. The client would like to know, he is working on a 2013 BMW XI and I can't find a Valvetronic reset button. Is there something that I'm overlooking or it's just not there? It's just not there, but there are some valve body related special functions for this vehicle. Um, first there is Valvetronic Adaptations Limit Positions. There's Startup Valvetronic and Open Global Valvetronic Limit Positions. The function route on where you can find these things, if you go to uh, Hot Function, then Throttle, or Service, Powertrain, engine electronic, and then adjustment function, then you'll see those uh, valve body related functions there. Okay, you're picking up what I'm putting down, I know it's a lot, but yeah, hope that answers your question. Question number six. All right, the client owns a Ford F550 2010 diesel 4x4 and wants to know if the Maxxis Pro or Elite can do the following. 
First, he wants to do a DPF regeneration on his vehicle. He also wants to change the instrument cluster, and he also wants to match the an ECU with the VIN on the chassis. So, to give you more clarity, the Maxxis Pro and Elite, they're basically the same tool. The Pro came out 2014, the Elite came about 2017. Just hardware differences, all right? Um, in terms of the special functions, they're identical. Okay, it's just one looks better and one's a hell of a lot faster. So to answer your question, um, both tools have DPF, DPF regeneration capabilities and both tools do have the uh, VIN writing capabilities. Um, and then regarding the instrument cluster change, that function is on there, but um, for this particular vehicle, I would actually need to log into your tablet and do what they call a data lodging to see if that function is supported because sometimes while the software will be available on the tablet the hardware on the vehicle won't accept it and I just need to determine that okay other times it could be that the software maybe has a glitch in it and I would have to have Auto prepare what they call like a beta app for you to execute that uh, instrument cluster change so I hope that answers your questions but to give you, uh, you guys more clarity the 906 BT and the TS, those are pretty much the same as the, in terms of special functions, as the Pro and the Elite. So don't get confused, oh, I gotta buy an Elite or a Pro to do this. No, you can still do the same thing with the 906 BT and the TS. Okay, very good question, very good question. All right, question number seven. Uh, let's see, this client uh, wants to know if the MS906 TS can read and reset the TIPM, T-I-P-M, on a 2010 Dodge Caravan. So just for clarification, TIPM is an acronym for Totally Integrated Power Module and the TIPM controls the distribution of power throughout the entire vehicle via the fuse box, a fuse box, and a computer. So to answer your question, yes, the MS906 TS does have the capability to read and reset the TIPM. And this also falls under the 906 BT as well. Another great technical question. All right, this is question number eight. So this client is working on an Audi A3 2014, and he wants to know if the MS906BT can do AVS unit coding. Um, the answer is yes, the 906BT does have AVS unit coding. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the original AVS unit, put it back on the car, read the code out, all right? It'll save that information onto the tablet, then the tablet's gonna prompt you to install the second or the, the new ABS unit onto the vehicle and that's when you can force write the code back onto the vehicle, onto that module, all right? And this also applies for the 906 BT and the TS, the Pro and the Elite. And I even think the MS906 can do this, but it won't be able to do it on that much vehicles. It's a stage one tool, so the special functions aren't as um, in depth as the tools that are stage two and above. So great technical questions. I love these questions. I hope that answered it. Thanks. All right, question number nine. So this client specializes in Ferrari and he owns the MS906 BT. And his question is, after you replace a new clutch in a transmission, the repair manual says you have to do a PS, PIS settings and then do an IO setting. Then you have to use the Ferrari tester, which is called the SD2. So I think what he's trying to do is a clutch actuator bleed, and the MS906BT does have that uh, capability on doing that. And some of the special functions that you will have for the Ferrari 360 is clutch bleeding actuator, clutch configuration, PIS adaptation, reset wear index, and self uh, learning. So those options should be able to accommodate that problem. But again, that's a very, very great question. And just for clarification, the, the MS906 BT, the TS, anything upward will be able to do that. All right, so this brings us to our last question of the day. And it's from a client who is trying to do their research on Amazon. So he says, hi, Kurt, can you verify this question that I saw on Amazon? Will this scan tool activate the brake bleeding procedure for Hondas and Toyotas? The seller told me that it couldn't. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm not a fan of Amazon due to the fact that they're more motivated on transactions 
instead of really finding out if this tool is going to work for you. So a lot of people, I mean, you guys don't see this, but I get people from, uh, you know, all, all over the world who buy from Amazon because it's like, you know, it's, it's in our, our subconscious now. And that's the first thing that people do. But for this particular tool, it's the wrong way to purchase a scan tool. Um, due to the fact that you're going to be confused, you're going to buy, uh, you know, uh, from web, from, from sellers who are saying that the tool can do something and, and it can't, or maybe it can only do that for one thing. You don't know what the tool can't do and you're not going to find that online, okay? So to answer this gentleman's question, um, the 906BT can do that procedure. The seller, what he told you was incorrect, all right? So with that being said, you guys, uh, if you have any other questions, and would like me to consult you and you know purchase the tool safely um, call my number right up there if you like this content feel free to like and subscribe and with that I'll let you guys go and I'll talk to you next week enjoy the rest of your day bye